Well, Andrew, for the third day in the row, the Mon Valley air pollution alert remains in effect, and we talked with several doctors. They say it could potentially send some people to the hospital. We're here in Clareton, where the concern is high. We shouldn't be going through this in 2022 like a third world country. Melanie Mead's house sits above the U.S. Steel's Clareton Coke Works plant. The code orange air quality action day is all too familiar, making it hard for some people to breathe, including Mead's son. He was telling me that his eyes were running and he was having trouble breathing. And for myself, I've had trouble sleeping and headaches. Allegheny County says this morning the Mon Valley experienced one of the strongest weather inversions in some time. Since then, the inversion has broken, but air quality will remain poor throughout the day. Dr. Deborah Gentile has been studying how high pollution days impact people, including children. Certainly if you have asthma, COPD, or any respiratory conditions, we don't want you outside exercising in this. Also, people with heart disease, um, history of stroke, they're also at increased risk of problems as well. This footage was captured Sunday morning, and Gentile says if you look at the last 30 days in the Mon Valley, about half of them have ranked in the top 10 for worst air in the entire country. They actually ranked number one twice in those 30 day periods. We're talking about very small particles that you can't see with the naked eye. Very, very disheartening because my, my grandchild and my son love to play outside, and you hate to tell them you should can't go outside. Now, the County officials say they will continue to monitor the situation throughout the day before making any decisions. Now, the Breathe Project did release a statement just a little bit ago. The executive director saying in part, clearly our air does not meet the full portfolio performance standards in our air enforcement agency. The Allegheny County Health Department is not doing enough to stop these episodes, which continue to happen regularly. And we, of course, will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest on air and online at WTAE.com. Reporting live in Clareton, Ashley Zilka, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.